was uh, online harassment mm -hmm. uh, specifically uh, and uh, the things which come out from this is that 8 in 10 people who took the survey uh, came back that they have been victim of uh, online harassment in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. uh, trolling, malicious comments uh, were some of the big things which uh, came up. Uh, the other things which came up was cyberbullying. Uh, about 45% uh, came back saying that they had been victims of cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. uh, cyber stalking was big as well. Uh, and going back to cyberbullying, uh, what came out very clearly was that such a large population uh, was impacted uh, and that comes from an age group which is 18 years to 40 years. So bullying is something that usually we associate with children amongst kids that it would happen but that was not the case. So even adults fall victims of bullying mm -hmm. uh, and with cyber bullying the impact is much uh, Like I said, the, okay, so the yeah. objective first, the objective is to first to understand ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, the consumer behavior online, uh, what impacts some of these leaves on them, mm -hmm. uh, uh, economically, psychologically, from a behavior perspective. So that's mainly from an objective perspective. Uh, what we want to use that is for education. Because uh, when we talk to media like yourselves and we talk to other people, we can go back and explain it to them with use cases, examples, so that we create more awareness around it. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the most important aspect uh, around this. Findings, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. um, 80% came back saying that they have been victims of online harassment. 45% mm -hmm. uh, came back saying cyber bullying. 42% talked about being cyber stalking as victim of cyber stalking. So those were some big uh, findings which were there. Mm -hmm. Other findings which were there that there is no differentiation between men and women. They are equally you know, participative uh, and they become victim to cyber bullying, cyber stalking uh, fairly on an equal basis. There is a very minor one point, two point difference between what we could see there. Look, that's a difficult part, you see, because it depends upon what impact is left. Now, some of them, the easiest way is that I'll withdraw. So it's a social withdrawal. Hmm. So I will stop interacting in that group. Yeah. So I mean, but then it lead, it gets complicated because hmm. then that. So if you start from withdrawal, then you go into isolation, and then that leads to depression. Yeah. So so it so people think that it's easy. It's not very easy. So I mean, the impact could be much higher. Uh, so so. It, 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 it is difficult so sometimes you'll have to go and take professional help to get out of it mm -hmm. uh, from something which could be as simple as being uh, trolled online mm -hmm. or being stalked online so so that becomes very difficult sometimes so yes so, so you can go back to authorities to complain and you know take that out mm -hmm. uh, or you know make sure that it puts an end to it Mm -hmm. uh, if it's at workplace, you can go back to your HR and talk to them. Mm -hmm. uh, because if it's your colleague, mm -hmm. if it's your school, then you can go back and talk to your teacher. Many people, your they do not have like as such knowledge about the existing rules and laws. So, how about that? Correct, but that's why I said the authorities are important because as an organization, as an authority, they would have uh, certain people. Authority. So like for example, if you and I work in the same organization, mm -hmm. and if I said something to you, mm -hmm. which you felt was not was. the right thing to do when it's being said in front of 10 people and you can always go back to the authority and that authority in that case could be your boss your department head or even the hr uh, of your organization mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously it will be their responsibility to come and talk to me and you know correct me uh, and take action if required in whatever form uh, so that's how it would be depending on the nature uh, and then there is uh, the cyber cell from the government there is women helpline there is police so all those are put in by authority so depending upon the nature of uh, the offense or what you feel about it you can always go back to the right authority and report that look the situation is very different because some of the things that the other countries have seen developed mm -hmm. is maybe over five ten years but for us it has happened in like five six months 
so we keep talking about demonetization what that did is that we very quickly moved to digital payments so something like that in some other countries has taken years to happen but here it's like a matter of few months that we have moved to digital payments so it's the same thing we have a very young population uh, mobile first uh, citizens they are all moving into this digital platform quickly and then some of this <coughs> habits are becoming ingredient uh, part of it mm -hmm. so so therefore i mean just imagine from this perspective that people who were born in 2000 in just 3 years they will be adults yeah. <laughs> not 3 years actually next yeah. year mm -hmm. they'll be adults so just one year so and they know nothing of how things used to be without digital world when phones were not there so therefore from that perspective uh, that's a very big difference between some other parts of the world and ours.